Hey guys, I uh, hope you're having a great Saturday. The title of this video is called The Israel Attack on Today, October 7th, 2023, 10-7-23, and what it means. So we know that at least 40 people have been killed uh, in Israel uh, earlier uh, today. Um, at least 40 people are killed and that Hamas led an attack against Israel. So a lot of you are, are already starting to blow up the comment uh, page and DM me uh, wanting to know what this means. Well, let, let me just say this, guys. First of all, you guys know that follow me that Bible prophecy is true, that the, the great tribulation, this seven-year period of time, is predicated around the nation of Israel. It's the 70th week of Daniel, the time of Jacob's trouble, um, the day of God's wrath, the great tribulation. It's known by all those names. It's a seven-year period of time where we will see rise of the Antichrist, the beast system, and then ultimately with, with the seven-year great tribulation ending, when Jesus sets his foot down on the Mount of Olives, speaks a world, a word, excuse me, speaks a word and destroys the enemies of the earth. All that's coming. So what does the what does the attack on 10-7-23 mean? Here's what it means. Uh, the, the Bible says that in the last days that Israel would be a thorn in the world's side. In other words, tiny Israel uh, would be hated by all nations. Uh, actually, uh, the United States has all but turned our backs on Israel. We are also, uh, as well as many other nations, are trying to broker a deal, including Saudi Arabia, where Israel would give up their land or a portion of their land. That land was promised to Abraham and his descendants. God is serious about that land. So, uh, Quite naturally, you could expect something like this to happen in, in light of that peace plan that, that they're still, that's still ongoing that they're trying to uh, orchestrate. From Scripture, we know this, that when Antichrist comes on the scene, we're out of here, guys. We're not even going to know who the Antichrist is. That's the first thing you need to know. We will not be here. I know post-trib guys believe differently. That's fine. Believe what you want. Um, but we will not be here. Now, What's going to cause Antichrist and the false prophet to sell uh, this seven-year peace plan with Israel is exactly what's going on now, because Israel will have lots of attacks like this where they're internally, where they just do not feel safe. There will be an outcry uh, from the people demanding peace and security. Now, keep in mind, guys, most people from Israel are not, are not practicing Jews. There is a high degree of agnostics and atheists that live in Israel. So there's a lot of demoniacs that live in Israel as well. Don't assume that everybody in, in, that's in, in Israel uh, is a practicing Jew. They just simply are not. Now, here's what is going to happen. You're going to see more and more of these type of events happening Iran's already publicly said, look, as soon as we get nukes, we're going to destroy Israel. We're going to nuke them. Well, God will deal with Iran. That's the first thing you need to know. Iran will be dealt with. Um, there, there will be a peace plan that will be signed and orchestrated by the Antichrist, but things have to get to a point where Israel is longing for this leader. Netanyahu, uh, a week or so ago, I forget the exact day, got on there and said, look, because of the Abraham Accords under Trump, we are way closer to achieving peace. And Israel is in a position where they, they are, they are battle-weary. Israel has enemies that surround their borders. They're on constant alert. God has supernaturally protected Israel, as he will do during the Great Tribulation. Um, God is an exact God. Everything the Bible said would happen will happen. It will indeed happen. So what do these attacks mean? Well, what it means is... It's a conditioning. It's people are saying, look, they're going to grow really weary of this. Don't You can expect more attacks, especially in light of talking about dividing that land. God is very serious about that. That's why the United States of America is in grave danger any time that we um, have gotten involved in trying to divide up the land, make it a two-state solution. God's very serious about that. So you're going to see more and more attacks on Israel. Expect that. Um, 
I, I don't know when the Ezekiel 38 war will begin. That is when, uh, you have to keep in mind, guys, Israel has, they have discovered tremendous oil and gas reserves off the coast of Israel that is their, that's their, their property. It was prophesied that Israel would uh, become a nation again, at, you know, and that happened over 2,000 years later, Israel became a nation again. And then um, it, would, it also prophesied that Israel would be an oasis in the desert, that they would also be reborn in one day. All those things have happened. There's great, huge underground, underground rivers of water underneath Israel. The Bible is true. Um, so what I believe will happen is you're going to see more and more of these type things happen. And, and it will get to a point uh, could could there possibly be some type of major strike in Israel? Absolutely, guys. Scripture has prophesied that. But God will supernaturally protect Israel. Um, now, many of them will be killed during the Great Tribulation. What all this should signal to you all is this. We are getting real close to the rapture. We're getting real close to the rise of, of the Antichrist and the beast system being implemented. And this world leader will come on stage and he will have all the solutions. And these people will embrace him as Messiah. The Jewish people will. Um, and then, of course, eventually we know how that goes. Uh, he sets up his image in the temple and no Jew will... Uh, the abomination of desolation. So we know that's coming. So guys, this is just a quick video. I hope this sheds some light. If you have any questions or comments, please, uh, I'd love to get your input. Guys, have a blessed day. If you don't know Jesus, ask him into your heart. Be blessed in Jesus' name.